Hey, what is going on guys? It is that exciting time for me where I've just got an itch that I need to scratch and that means I need to start another work in progress. Now, I know, I know, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I've got a, a couple of Machining Krieger kits already in the work in progress phase that are not finished yet, but you know, what am I gonna do? I'm a guy who has modeling ADHD and I just can't help but start new projects all the time. So this one, I'm gonna really try to just bust my way through it as quick as possible, while of course taking my time to do it right, of course, but I mean, this is just going to be a side project that I wanna work on kind of at the same time while I'm working on the Mastergrade EX Unicorn, getting that all painted up. This is just something I kind of wanna chip away at on the side and just do a kind of simple painted build, but I do actually wanna do a little bit of modification with this as well, uh, but pretty simple. I'll go over that with you guys here in a little while, but this is the Kuster. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I, you know, I'm just guessing, but usually these are kind of like a little bit German names that I can't pronounce correctly, so I'm sorry if it's actually pronounced like Kuster or something like that. You guys will let me know in the comments, but anyway, this is the new release here from Wave. Now, I would imagine this is probably not a new release. I don't know if this is like a re issue or sort of thing of this particular kit of the Cooster, but th anyway, this particular kit is a recent release from Wave, so we're going to be taking a look at this. Now, of course, this is from the Machine Krieger line of kits, so this is a 120 scale kit, and there's a lot of really cool stuff here on the box and a lot of really cool stuff in the box as well, so let's just go ahead and take a look at it. Now, I should also probably let you guys know that USA Gundam Store does carry Machine and Krieger kits, if you guys weren't aware of that. If you've maybe been wanting to check out Machine and Krieger kits, or you've been looking for a good place to buy Machine and Krieger kits, you can check out what we have available there at USA Gundam Store. The link is down below. As always, you can use my coupon code there, Zacharelius10, to save 10% off everything there on the site, including some very cool kits from the MacK world. But let's start off taking a look at this beautiful box art here, as always, illustrated, painted by Koyokama Sensei himself. We got the signature down there, Co 2020, and just a beautiful artwork here of the Cooster. You got the Machine Krieger logo up there. Series MK038, scale 120, one type, four decorations, one figure. So it's gonna be including one of the Cooster, one figure also included here, and four decorations. And I think that means like four different kind of ways that you can choose for the decal markings for it. But these always include a bunch of really beautiful decal marking water slides in here. So over here on the side, the same kind of just name information there, Astral Democratic Republic, yes, and some information over here in Japanese, uh, illustrated by Koyokama, package design based by Kunitaka Imai, Wave Corporation. On the ends of the box, kind of the same thing. You got one of the decal styles over here, this kind of uh, devil horn face kind of thing. Same thing over here on this side, and on the top, another different one of the logos there, this kind of uh, crow one kind of looking thing there. That looks pretty cool. And on the bottom of the box here, you got some more information actually in English, which is pretty cool, kind of a backstory to that. I'm not sure who wrote this, but I know Link used to be involved in the background story writing process of these, so I have to ask him if he knows uh, who wrote this. But we do have some more information over here and then some illustrations on here showing a couple other possible color schemes. So you got this color scheme here on the front of the box, kind of green and beige kind of camo. And then down here, some other possible options, this kind of blue with the white stripe or this kind of two-tone red kind of camo pattern over there. It looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this opened up, see what we got in here. So it's gonna be molded in what looks like a really super dark green, basically maybe it looks like for that color there. So we'll take a look at the runners here in just a moment. We also got our figure, it's gonna be included here. It looks like a kind of just standing kind of crew figure there for that. And then we got a uh, bag here with some other parts, some brass rod it looks like, a couple of springs for the legs, a couple of other like spring bits there for going around some of the details, a smaller rod in there, some other wires, so you've got kind of all these beautiful little detail parts already included right here in the kit. With that, we've got our instruction manual here. We've got the uh, color, uh, I forget what these are called. There's a special name, like color card or something that these are called. And it's got these holes in here you can punch out. And so these are meant to go in like a little binder you can get for these to keep all these in. If you've got a bunch of Mac K kids, you can keep all these cards in a binder, which is pretty cool. I should get one. And so these uh, color schemes are just laid out here. For ex example, this is actually a different one from the one that we saw on the outside of the box. There's one more uh, example color pattern for that there. On the other side, a decal guide where the decals are gonna be going on the kit. 
and then there's the fourth color scheme option there. And then at the bottom of there, we have one more thing, two more things. What's this little thing over here? Uh, this is a little clear part for like the uh, camera lens array kind of thing for, I believe, is what that is. We'll find out once we get to putting it together. But here is the decals, beautiful as always. So you've got some really nice big markings there, some numbers, and then the uh, kind of generic kind of caution markings things that'll be going around on the rest of the Cooster there, so a lot of really nice options, but uh, not sure if I'll end up sticking with one of these, or I do have a bunch of other Machine Kruger decals, so I might end up using something entirely different, or I don't know, yeah, but uh, let's also take a quick peek at the instructions here. So you got some nice line art there on the front, and then here on the back, just uh, nothing really too much there. But here is a list of the runners, actually. So it looks like uh, some of the runners are actually from the Krote, 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 Guns, one Guns runner, one Kuster runner, which I guess would be a new one. Some of the other parts, the figure runner. So this would be if you needed to order replacement runners, that you can just choose which ones you need. So like Kodobuki also usually includes this as like a separate paper in their kits, and Bandai usually includes this in their manual as well. It's only good if you're in Japan. But the rest of the manual is basically just gonna be a fold out kind of thing here, where it just shows you how to go about putting different sections together obviously, uh, and there's not really too much to really to say about this other than that it's just the uh, instruction guide. These kits do go together a little bit differently from your standard Bandai Gundam kind of kit. They're a little bit more complex I want to say, but it's basically just like all these little parts just glue all this stuff together and basically make this whole section. Or I guess you can like pin stuff, magnetize stuff, or a lot of the kit should actually be snap fit, but you definitely will need glue for the construction of these. So let's go ahead and just quickly run through the runners here as well. You got a couple of poly caps that you'll use for, for this in just kind of plain milky clear kind of color. And then here is the runner for the figure. Now you'll notice uh, it's uh, missing a head. There's no head on this, but it does have a little tiny molded cigarette to put in the fingers down there. So at least you got that. I guess the head is probably on a different runner. We'll see that here momentarily but this is just a runner here labeled figure. Not really the most exciting figure for this. I'll probably exchange this out for one of the different resin ones that I've got around here. And so like I said, all the runners are gonna be molded in this really super dark green kind of color. And this first one here is runner A from the Crote. Now I actually, just kind of slipped my mind that this kit is based off of the Crote. So uh, if you've got that kit or if you've built that kit, it's gonna be mostly that kit with a couple of different bits anyway. So as usual, we've got a lot of really nice little tiny fine detail on there, like this kind of weld mark already on molded on there and a lot of people will just customize make that themselves and with different ways using putty or glue or something but you've got some of that actually molded on there already a little more of that over here like on this part too now the runner label for this you can see this is a uh, croat and there's like a bit at like the top of the runner that's like erased off there it's like kind of molded in a way that they kind of erase that off there it's the same thing here on the back you got the Nido logo so I guess this was originally a Nido kit and then I guess I think wave maybe bought the design or something off of them so you got the Koyokama up there and then another section of the runner that's kind of like erased up there at the top so I'm not actually sure I think there's copyright to whatever Nido or something that they just erased off that part of the runner. And then runner B of the Krote here, you can see we've got a lot of little, these like fine little piston parts and these little kind of uh, bar, little kind of parts that are going around there, like antenna parts, things like that. They're gonna be going around a lot of the little fine details here on this runner. And then runner C from the Krote here as well with a bunch more little parts on there. Some very small parts and some a little bit larger parts, but a lot of nice detail throughout. And then runners D and E, this little section over here is actually labeled runner E. The main part is runner D also from the Krote. It looks like basically a bunch of parts for the legs, mostly on this particular runner. And this runner here is actually labeled as runner I and it's from the Gans. And this one is a Wave Corporation mold. So this is one with some very super little tiny parts on here and some other little parts that are added on to make the Gans variant. And then we've got runner N here, which is molded actually for the Cooster. Now, some interesting things about this one as well. This one also labeled Wave Corporation, but if you look at the date on it, it's 2012. I don't think that Wave was making Mac K kits in 2012, or maybe that was like when they first started making them, I'm not sure. But aside from just a bunch of parts on here, you've also got this section of the runner up here with all these little like bolt details. Basically what these are meant to be for is you can slice these off with your knife uh, very cleanly and carefully, and then you can place these around on the kit wherever you like them, basically you just glue them on as little detail parts. So it's cool you got those molded up here at the top of the runner there for you. So I guess that means that this is not actually a entirely new kit. Like I said earlier, I believe this is kind of like some sort of like a kind of reissue of the kit in a way. As it usually goes with these kits, they basically produce them in like one big run and then they don't reproduce them until they are like reproduced like, like this particular kit is. So I believe that maybe this kit was, was produced 
years ago and it's not been reproduced again until now. So that is everything that you're gonna get in the box. I'm gonna get to work and start putting some sections together. And once I've got some parts together to show you guys, I'll get back with you and we'll talk about how I plan on doing a little bit of customization to this kit. All right, y'all, so checking in a couple days later and I'm kind of like sort of halfway through the construction, I feel like, even though it may not look like much here. Uh, it's actually kind of like the main parts of the body. And so for now, I just kind of want to show you kind of how it's going so far, I'll give you a look at this and then uh, move on with the construction but here's like the main parts of the body here obviously this part being like the head where it was basically kind of four sections you have like the big main section here for the top and then one big section for the side and one big section for this side and then one big section for the bottom and this is super glue on there so that's what you're seeing that so that just needs to be sanded down filed down and sanded down it was the same thing here on the top too i had like full lines of that i glued it uh, first with just some regular plastic cement and then just to make sure there was no uh, seam line there just laid some super glue on that sanded that down so it'll look fine later on just uh, now that needs to be sand it but anyway you guys should get the idea and it's also kind of interesting this uh, little little you get my tweezers to the point this, this actually just goes on this line here is the original hole and this little square section is something you just have to just add on to there and there's no like peg or anything for that there's nothing to really necessarily hold that in place so you just glue that into place and then just uh, you know try to get rid of the seam line on that I guess or not but I am trying to get rid of the seam line on that and it should be gone shouldn't be an issue but it was kind of odd and then you have just other parts like a bunch of stuff that'll go in here so you have like uh, the gun which will attach in there and I actually did this wrong too this attachment piece for that was supposed to be in there you can see like there's that kind of inner wall inside there where there's the holes this that piece was supposed to be behind there uh, with this kind of attachment peg coming through that hole and then you plug this onto there But I did it wrong There was actually a little lip on the end of, of this too just to help this kind of that piece stay in place behind there But because I did it wrong I cut that off and then later I can just go ahead and just glue that onto there up and set it like that And it won't be a big issue So that's pretty much fine and I got a couple other sections here that are put together that need to be added in there This is another section that goes up inside of there so that will plug up into there like that and so these I just am waiting to get a little bit further on uh, in just cleaning everything up before I glue these into place and I might actually leave these out so I can prime them separately and after the priming is done then I'll glue them in place before I get to the painting but just to make sure that everything's primed really well and this piece as well too I think goes up here on the top there's another piece that holds it in place but it goes up here on there anyway and then uh, the engine block this is kind of all done basically so there's maybe a little bit more cleanup that I'm gonna do on that but uh, not a whole lot this one actually goes on the back of this part here this is basically the uh, transmission I think this was basically the section uh, between the legs and the head is kind of the body of it sort of so this one will be plugged on here onto the back side of there like that so this one as well too I'll probably just uh, spray this with primer separately and then glue this on later for painting so that'll be attached onto there and the detail on that's pretty nice pretty cool didn't really have any issues with that this was a relatively easy section to put together not a lot of seam lines or anything really necessarily on that a little bar detail on there is pretty cool we got a bunch more of those for this kit obviously uh, and uh, this little section on here too which actually plug on above the engine there it's like that so it's gonna actually be kind of a little bit of a tight fit both of those parts seem to be kind of like crashing into each other a little bit like they weren't really made to fit together super well there. there you get the idea and then these parts go on the side of here like that and this is where the legs are going to be plugged into i wasn't sure what i wanted to do whether to remove the seam line between these parts or not so actually what i did with uh, my dunmo chisel it was just to chisel the edge of this to make uh, basically a panel line around the edge of this part so that uh, there's a there'll be a nice line between the two parts of that there like that and a couple other sections that are built so far are just the uh, leg stabilizers which will plug onto there just like right behind where the legs go um, so like I said it's just kind of a bunch of parts still at the moment but I'm, I'm like kind of pretty much halfway or feels like about that with done with the, like the main bit of construction there was a big seam line all the way down the middle of this one too that I'm still kind of in the middle of cleaning up a little bit this weld line there you see that kind of like weld effect was uh, as we saw in the unboxing that was already on there but a little bit got removed of that in the seam line removal process so I need to see about having maybe adding that back in or something 
And so just basically working on some more refinement on some of the, these main sections before I add on all the other stuff. There's obviously a bunch of little parts, little greeblies and bits that will go around on everywhere on this that need to be added on. But those are basically easy enough. Just cut them from the runner, clean them up, and just stick them onto here basically. So there's a bunch of parts just added on. The legs are going to be kind of the main thing that are going to take the most amount of, mo amount of work still yet, I feel like. But, oh, also just uh, I realized when we were taking a look at the pilot figure earlier on the runner I mentioned about the head not being on the runner because I was looking at the runner from this side and you can't really see the head I didn't notice that this is actually the head here I needed to turn the runner around the face is right there and the hat's there for the top of the head so anyway, I glued the two main halves of the body together so I need to clean up that a little bit and I still didn't actually know if I'll use this so I might not clean that up the seam line here I might not even finish the construction of this for for now just because I don't think I'm actually going to use it with this project uh, but may just finish putting it together just so at least it's like all built and then I can save it for a future project and just kind of have it aside somewhere already built up at least. But that's pretty much where I'm at so far. I'm still not sure about how I might want to end up customizing this at all if I'm going to be adding any parts or anything to it. I still want to, I'm just not sure. At, at this point it's kind of hard to get a sense of how I want to do that. I think I need to get a little bit more farther on into the construction, get some more stuff added on, things like that. Then I can get a sense of how or where I might want to be adding anything else onto this. So probably we'll cover that in the next work in progress video where I'll go over, you know, well, I'll probably have the legs built and then hopefully we'll get into some uh, customization if I figure out anything, any way that I want to customize this in some way. So till next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are a fan of seeing uh, Machine and Krieger stuff like this, then surely let me know. I love working on these kits. It's just uh, hard to get around to finishing them for me. So hopefully we'll stick with this and we'll get this kit finished so that you guys can actually see what this looks like when it's all completely done. But for now, just really appreciate your support. As always, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all that's very appreciated. And just thank you so much for watching. Till the next video, guys, hope you're all having a great day. Bye-bye.